Tonight's show, Covington's former finance director embezzled much more than original estimates said. It tops over three quarters of a million dollars. So, what's changed to prevent a recurrence? We get the answer live from Nine on Your Side reporter Tom McKee. Tom? Well, Kara, this new audit says that Robert Dew embezzled $793,000 over 13 years. That's $56,000 a year, easily enough to pay for a police officer or firefighter. It also says the city was very lax in its financial control, something city leaders say they're already working to change. Kentucky Auditor Adam Edelin didn't mince words Thursday describing Robert Dew's conduct in office. For a period of over 13 years, a culture of a designed incompetence permitted someone who had larceny in their heart to substantially take advantage of the taxpayers. Dew controlled all city finances, and when auditors reviewed 66,000 checks, they found 68 written to himself, family members, and vendors he controlled. He was able to create vendors and transactions, print checks, direct revenue to certain funds and more. A city employee finally got suspicious and blew the whistle, but the question remains, how could this happen? The city's failure to establish checks and balances provide and, and provide oversight granted him the opportunity to steal as much as he did. Uh, frankly, we're lucky that he didn't steal more. We will make this right. It happened on our watch, it was discovered on our watch, and we will fix it on our watch. City Manager Larry Klein says his leadership team is already shaking things up, including new people in finance, internal auditing, and IT. A recovery and repair task force is putting more oversight in place. Plus, we are establishing an internal employee whistleblower hotline in case employees see anything suspicious. Klein says Dew betrayed everyone in the city, but restoring public trust is now job one. We've been through uh, tornadoes, uh, uh, floods. Civil War, martial law, uh, in our 200-year 200 history, uh, this embezzlement is, ranks right up there with that. Uh, it may be worse because it's an abuse of the public trust. Uh, this event will be dealt with. We will correct and repair and recover. Now, the city is sued to recover those embezzled funds, but everybody here agrees they are likely not to get all that money back. And one note from Auditor Italy says, were it not for that curious employee, this still might be going on. Undetected. Tom McKean out on your side, live in Covington.